Welcome, folks. 877-927-6648. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. I'll be having a better day when I can get this plugged in. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 221, NASDAQ off 192, SP's down 38. Gold, gold contract down $11, trading to 2004, 2,541 an ounce. We have silver off 74 cents, $29.68 cents an ounce, light sweet crude down 92 cents, $74.60 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note flat, 113, 17, 30 year. Down five at 124 flat in King Dollar. King Dollar's got a bounce going. It's up 542 ticks at 101.094 euro, 111 yen, 144 British pound, 131 to 1 US dollar. My phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, let's go into the E-minis first. Okay, so we've hit a low out here today of uh, 5577. We're at 5604 right now. And, oh, look at this. Oh, this is going to get interesting. So, we had a high volume low about an hour ago. And you can say that it did test it with lighter volume, but still a lot of volume in. Then we spike higher with volume. How's that? Okay. <laughs> what a yin and yang this is, man. Let me put this... Uh, Okay, so I take a look at this. SPY. Well, there's a little volume coming down there. Yeah, it's light volume, man. So I get, is there some divergence out here big time? So the SPY looks to me like it wants to go higher. That we still haven't hit the highs and it looks to me that it does want to go higher. The Qs are just the opposite. The Qs... They've rolled, they've come up to the gap, all the above. That's telling me that they want lower. And now this is going to get interesting here. And the part that I'm talking about is the note and bond market. Because the note and bond market has been going sideways. And it does not have the strength when it's going against the highs. You know, we've been going sideways now for three weeks. So that's telling me that we're actually going to go lower first then higher, and of course, lower means higher rates. And then we go over to the dollar. We take a look at this dollar. And the dollars get quite a bounce. I think the market's down right now because of the dollar bounce, actually. That's where my head's at with this thing. And that's telling me that this looks like, I mean, from the full range of the last leg down, the 0.382 is 102.600. A 5.0 is 103, 900. And it looks to me we're going to bounce. You know, if we bounce and the market is back to, you know, not caring for a, a strong dollar, uh, that's going to get really intriguing because what we had out here this morning, so check this out. When you're looking at the screen, this gives you Asia and Europe. And Europe this morning, man, I mean, that, they were holding price all day long. And we're the ones that actually was the NDX 100 that let us down. That's the bottom line. And inside of that, the, the, the real culprit there uh, was super, super micro. I mean, this is about as intense as you can get, man. So you had Hindenburg come out with a paper yesterday that they're cooking the books. It opens up today down $125, not because of Hindenburg, but because of themselves. Because, sure enough, where to smoke this fire? Well, guess what? They come out this morning, and they're saying, okay, here, check it out. So Super Mario comes out, Mario, Super Micro comes out this morning, says they're delaying their annual financial disclosures. <laughs> That's all you need, folks. You delay your financial disclosures. If you have, well, first off, if you have a, if you have a company and don't have financials, it's a problem. If you have a financial company, uh, any company that's public and you don't have financials, it's a monster problem because it's like that is always the first deal that once they don't give the SEC the financial disclosures and their clients, meaning the, all the investors, you know, per quarter and per year, 
people want out immediately because they know, you know, guess what? <laughs> like a CFO leaving or, you know, having a problem with, say, just have, it's a monster, man, because you don't know where they hide everything. And all of these big companies, folks, it's so easy to hide things. It's insane. Meaning, you know, is there, is there a double billing going on? Is there a self-dealing going on? Because the, the fact of the matter is when you're doing so many hundreds of millions of billions, you can bury, you know, 20, 30, 50 million at about a heartbeat. There's, there's no doubt about that. We go look at NVIDIA now. When we're talking numbers here, NVIDIA is going to be looking to do, the thing that's going to be intriguing with NVIDIA on this one is this. If we go from year to year, they did 7.2 uh, billion last, uh, last quarter last year. And then last quarter, that 7.2 billion went to 26 billion. How's that? Now, the differential here going forward is nothing like this, okay? Right now, they're only looking to do 3 billion more in sales, where when we were talking before, you're talking 10, 15, 1.18 billion more, okay? So, you know, we'll see what the market uh, says about that and, you know, how, they, how, how the market basically feels about that. That's what it comes down to. So, and there's a huge amount of others there coming out. CrowdStrike's coming out. ADBE. Let me see. Is Adobe coming out too? There, we got a huge amount of tech coming out right now. Yeah. Oh, no. That's September 12th. Okay. But what, what is going to happen is that there's going to be a lot of equities impacted by NVIDIA either going higher or going lower. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrial's down 286. NASDAQ's off 199. S&P's are off 43. You get the gold contract down 11. Come right back, folks.